What's up YouTube? It's the Space Cadet Astro Tom coming back at y'all with another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how the new shot meter works in NBA 2K21. So the first thing we're gonna look at is how the shot meter works on free throws. Now the difference as far as shooting free throws than it was from last year is it's gonna be more difficult. Now the reason it's gonna be more difficult is because the shot meter is gonna move. It's gonna change positions when you shoot free throws. So instead of just timing your free throw, you're also gonna to have to put it in the shot meter box. Sometimes it may be towards the left side, sometimes it may be towards the right side, sometimes it may be in the middle. It just all depends on what 2K gives you. Now the thing I like about this is, you actually have more control over your free throw shot. So for instance, if you slightly flick it to the left, it's going to go to the left side and if you slightly hit it to the right it's going to go to the right side so you really have full control of your free throw shot now let's go ahead and talk about the shot meter for the jump shot now with the jump shot it's pretty much going to be the same concept if you take a good open shot your window is going to be in the middle of your shot meter but if you take more difficult shots your window is going to be in other parts of your shot meter other than the middle now another thing I did notice is when you shoot with X or square, the meter usually pops up in the same place when you're shooting. Now in order to hit greens this year, you pretty much have to time your release and also center it in the middle of your shot window. They may shoot in a little bit difficult this year, but over time I'm pretty sure everybody else will get used to it. Now with the layups, it's pretty much going to be more difficult. Last year you got shot meters some of the time when you did a layup. But this year, you pretty much get it every time that you do a layup. Now, the hard thing about this when using the stick is, if you're taking up a layup and you have contact on you, your shot window might pop up on the other side of your shot meter. So for instance, let's say you're on the left side of the basket and you're trying to take it up with your left hand. Well, you might be able to take it up with your left hand, but your shot window might be on the right side of your shot meter, which can be difficult. So not only do you have to time your layup, but you also have to time your shot and make sure it's in that window. That's all I got for this video. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment. It's the Space Cadet Astrotomic, and I'm out.